hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're old here thank you for coming back by and if you are new i hope you like it here and you stay by me stay saying stay i mean you subscribe and you watch and you enjoy you know you, re you become a regular so guys today i'm going to do a video about why i've been like this okay <laughs> I wouldn't laugh if I say that. Okay, so guys, me by saying why I've been like this is by me saying explaining why i've not been posting videos about coming to china coming to teach english in china and all that stuff because if you remember very well on my first video i think my get to know video something like that i did say the purpose of this channel was to help people who want to come and teach english in china to get information from the channel and inspiration whatever to see how it's actually being in the country, how we live, how we, how the process, the procedures, the contract, all that jazz. On my previous video, I did um, say you guys must tell me why I've been, like why I've, I haven't been actually posting. Sorry, oh, I got a text, so I'm disturbed. Why I haven't been posting videos about having like a, an a ESL career in China and guys on this video I'm gonna spell the T I'm gonna say the truth because I am not going to give you false hope or deceive you and by me saying all this thing I'm not demotivating you I'm just trying to be honest and honestly I do understand that doing this type of videos you know when my, my channel started to grow a little bit when my channel was still new my channel was growing because i was giving you guys useful information about this china esl teaching career right but then i stopped because why number one let me take my notes child because i did write them down but i'm gonna make sure that i'm talking the truth and what i think and i'm not rambling <laughs> anyway child first of all we all know corona happened corona messed up everything for people who wanted to come to china and for people who were in china they decided to go back home because they were scared and for people who are actually still in china because they cannot go back home because why you can go back home but they're like they're scared because if they go back home they're gonna stuck and then they cannot come back into the country so hence we have i haven't visited home like visited home life for like more than two years now i haven't seen my family guys and it's literally not easy i'm not gonna lie to anybody so guys child it's not easy corona happened and everything changed it changed the whole thing and i'm gonna tell you wow so guys how did corona change the whole thing by simply like the borders were closed chinese borders are closed it's only those special people who can come into the country like my team and my essential workers or whatever so when i esl teacher that does not have a visa hey, 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 hey. sorry child you cannot come that one and like i don't even know how the whole thing works so i didn't even want to come to you guys and lie but i'm not gonna say there's nobody who has came back to china from south africa that i'm not going to say but it's just a big difference and yeah guys mm, what is it closed they are still closed to south africa because it stood on the red list or the red flag so 
and also nobody knows what's going on i don't know what's going on nobody knows like if you get somebody here with an ESL teacher and telling you booty hi the borders are going to open next year they don't know they're lying i remember when this whole thing started like everybody thought i know maybe the borders are going to open next next month next year next year which was 2021 but then now we are towards the end of 2021 and the borders are still closed what is that child tell me so nobody knows what's going on child so that's like life is like this now i know i'm not even gonna say life is like that sometimes life is like this now and policies change yo guys that's that means you have to say don't that <laughs> Ciao. Policies changed. Some training centers were closed. And some people lost their jobs. They had to go and look for the other jobs somewhere else. And by them going to look for other jobs somewhere else, it means there is so much people in the market Yo, in the market like there's so much supply of teachers and there's there's gonna be a competition of jobs every now and now, now i'm just scared of leaving my school <laughs> i'm just scared I'm, i was no longer teaching in a training center that time when that policy came out so i was safe i'm I would like to believe I'm still safe, but some people are saying it's better to be in an actual big international school because some of these government schools are also going to burn down ESL teaching. So by burning down ESL teaching, so foreign teachers are going to suffer. Okay, and there's some other things that are happening in Guangzhou that is like a story for another video. I'm not even going to touch it. Yeah policies changed people lost their jobs and now people have to look for other jobs somewhere else like for example your kindergarten your middle school primary school high school even university i don't wow only if you guys can do it for me to get a camera Woo! it cut me again i was saying i don't know what's happening to teachers who are teaching English in universities so yeah and also that nobody knows when everything is going to go back to normal I mean like borders being fully open and people all the, from all the countries being free to come back here in China but I think when that happens just be like vaccinated people like the rules are still going to be strict as hell but yeah, I just hope it happens soon, man. Like, we can't be feeling stuck in this country. No. So that you guys can also be able to come into this country. Like, it's not doing show, but, you know, no, it's not on. It's not on. So, we don't know when everything's going to go back to normal. So, what's the point of me doing uh, videos about coming to teach English in China? But anyway, guys, if you do want me to do those videos and you're like, I go no, no, like it's better for us to stay with something waiting, Gabo, then you can tell me. But I me mean, now, I was like, nah. Also, South Africa is still on the band list because I know most of my subscribers are South African. So, yeah, South Africa is still on the list of the countries that can, that can't come back into the country or come into China so we're like what's the point but anyway guys i didn't i don't want this video to be too long firstly because i don't want to bore you and also because of phone storage so if you guys are still interested in me doing these those videos please tell me i will try to continue with that kind of series but i stopped because i was like everything is stuck everything is jammed so what's the point of me telling you guys some of the information might be might be outdated so you can't really apply it i know most of the things have changed most of the rules has changed so i was like no i'm not going to do any videos until i'm certain about everything but okay guys i've been struggling you can see it's getting dark i was saying please tell me if you guys are interested for me to continue with that 
uh, coming into China series and stuff, how to come to China. I can continue if you guys want me to, but yeah, I think we must end the video here because my phone is struggling and it's getting dark. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to stay. By me staying, I'm saying subscribe and be a regular on my channel. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time. <laughs> Cheers, guys.